one night, two people, one dog. That's it. Here's what we'll be bringing for our overnight hammock camping trip to Harriman State Park. Okay, so obviously you need maps. Um, I've noticed that a lot of people in Harriman don't often bring their maps or they don't have maps. And that's a problem because a lot of the time you don't have cell service and you have to end up asking someone who maybe doesn't know what they're talking about or worse, not finding anyone to ask. So order the maps, help support the New York, New Jersey Trail Conference and always know where you're going. I just have like cheapy Hanes cool dry t-shirts that I wear. These are like $7 on Amazon, so I have a bunch of them. And what I do is I spray them with permethrin uh, to get rid of the ticks um, because I know that Harriman has a big tick population and um, they freak me out a lot. So I spray them with permethrin and then I just, I, I wear them. <laughs> And I have a long sleeve just in case it gets cold at night. This one is from Outdoor Voices and it's just very lightweight. Uh, then I bring like some sort of sweat pant, pajama pant, camp pants. And then for the day, I have these insect shield pants, which to be fair, I thought would be like extremely dorky. They are pretty good looking i guess like they're not super unflattering um and i feel like a lot of camping type hiking pants can be so yeah i have these and these already come sprayed with permethrin so you can skip that step for these and that is it for clothing my contacts i have like face lotion i have sunblock and i have lip balm and that is it a Kelty sleeping bag. This one is 20 degrees, which is a little bit aggressive for the summer. Way over, Kel. <laughs> uh, but Try not to sweat. it's also the only one I have. So another thing that's definitely worth bringing is this Dutchware. What would you call it? It's like a mesh sleeve that goes um, on your tarp. This from Dutchware plus an REI tarp. Which hammock gear, little organizer. It's for your ridge line, so when you're sleeping, you can just grab your phone or like your Kindle or whatever. Okay, so one of the best parts about packing for a backpacking trip is figuring out what food you're gonna bring. Um, we are very big fans of Packet Gourmet in this house. It's really, really good. Uh, we're bringing the Cheddar Jack and Cheese spread, polenta with pork sausage, mini bean salad, Boston cream parfait, this big thing of Kathmandu curry, this mountain house biscuits and gravy, like just straight up instant coffee. So this one is from Alpine Start. So if you're gonna be hammock camping, you should probably bring an underquilt, which basically like warms you up from the bottom. Um, I really like mine, it's from Hammock Gear. It's very light, it's like bright orange, and it served me very well. It's kept me very warm and cozy. It's not supposed to be that cold, so it might be overkill, but honestly, better safe than sorry. Other things that you might not think about, but that are also really helpful to have, is a sit pad, a tarp to put down underneath your hammock, so that you can throw your backpack down there, your shoes, anything else you might need and a pillow, so definitely worth bringing as well. All right, backpack, yes. Tarp, yes. Underquilt, 